Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Dell World Technologies here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We have two guests on the segment, both, both CUBE veterans. So uh, we have Varun Chabra, he is the VP Product Marketing Cloud Dell EMC, Hi, and Maneeb Munad Minizuddin, VP Solutions Product Marketing at VMware. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. So we just had the keynote address. We heard from Michael Dell, Satya Nadella, Pat Gelsinger. It's a real who's who of, 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 this, of this ecosystem. Break it down for us. What, what did we hear? What is, what is sort of the most exciting thing sure. from your perspective, Arun? So, Rebecca, what, what we hear from customers again and again is it's a multi-cloud world, right? Everybody has multiple cloud deployments, right? We saw Pat mention five on average, right? Cloud architectures in customer environments. That's right. And what we keep hearing from them is they, there are operational silos that develop as part of the, the, the tool set, the SLAs that are different, the uh, machine formats, all of these things just lead, a lot of, lead to a lot of operational silos and complexity. And what customers are overwhelming, overwhelmingly asking Dell EMC, as well as VMware, is that how do we reduce this complexity? How do we be able to move workloads together? How do we manage all of this in a common framework and reduce some of that complexity so that really they can take advantage of uh, the, the promise of multi-cloud? Yeah, so Mani, the yeah. Cube goes to you know, all the big industry shows. Right. Uh, I, I feel like everywhere I go, it used to be, you know, it's like Intel and NVIDIA up on stage with the next generation. Well, for the last year, it, it felt like, you know, Pat and Sanjay or, you know, somebody like that, you know, up on stage. We have the Google Cloud event a couple of weeks ago, there was Sanjay up on stage. You come here, there's Satya Nadella up on stage. So, let, let's talk about that public cloud piece. Sure. You know, we know, you know, the relationship with AWS, VMware Cloud on AWS, sent Ripple through the industry yep. uh, and you know, the Google Cloud piece. So tell us what's new, anything different about the Microsoft uh, piece when it comes, to, it comes to public cloud and how does that fit in relation to all the other clouds? Sure, no, I'll, I'll amplify you know, what Warren said, right? We think about customer choice first. And, and really customer choice, as you know, you've got multiple cloud providers. We've seen customers make this choice of, I need to make this you know, a multi-cloud world. Why are they going towards the multi-cloud world? It's because applications are going there. And really, VMware's strategy has been to say, how do we empower customers with that choice? Our you know, AWS partnership is as strong as ever, right? We continue to innovate there. And that was our first kind of choice of platform. And Pat alluded to this on the stage. We have 4,000 cloud provider partners, right? And the 4,000 cloud provider partners we've built over the years, and that include, you know, not small names, they include IBM. <laughs> they, like, you know, they've got, you know, Rackspace, some of the biggest cloud providers. So our strategy has always been, how do we take our stack and, and land it in as many public clouds as possible? So we took the first step of IBM, then, you know, about 4,000, you know, other cloud providers, be it Rackspace, Fujitsu, Hitachi, then came Amazon. Amazon being the choice of destination for a lot of public clouds. Today, we kind of further extend that with Microsoft. And you know, a few weeks ago with Google, right? So this is really about customer choice. And customers, when they want the hybrid multi-cloud piece, is app-driven, right? You've got two worlds. You've got an existing application, and you're looking to get some scale out of that existing application. And you're building a lot of you know, native, cloud-native applications. They want this you know, in multiple places. All right, so if, if I could just drill down one level deep, you know, so if I'm an Azure customer today, my understanding is yep. the VMware SDDC stack, what does that mean? You know, what do I use? Uh, you know, how, how does that look and feel compared? Do I use the Microsoft, uh, you know, System Center? Am I using vCenter, you know? Yeah. Sure, no, and this is really, again, an, an app-driven conversation, right? There were multiple announcements in here, just to unpack them. There was like, hey, we had the Dell Technologies Cloud Platform. The Dell Technologies Cloud Platform is powered by you know, Dell EMC infrastructure and VMware Cloud Foundation on top, virtualizing your full compute network storage with vSphere, vSAN, and SX, and management, right? And the second part was really, we've got VMware Cloud on a Dell EMC. This is to bring a lot of the workloads which sit in public clouds, we're seeing this repatriation of workloads back on, on, you know, on the data center or the edge. This is really driven by a lot of customers and who have built native IP in the public cloud, be it Amazon, be it Azure, who want to now bring some of those workloads closer to the you know, data center or the edge. 
Now this comes to, how do I take my Azure workloads and bring it closer to the my edge or my data center? Why is that a need? You know, we have large customers, you know, I, you know large customers, multinational, they have you know, 500,000 employees, 90 locations worldwide, who've built to IP, or when I say IP, applications natively in cloud, suddenly for 500,000 employees in 90 locations, they're going ingress, egress traffic to the cloud, public cloud, is huge. How do I bring it closer to my data centers, right? And this is where taking Azure workloads, bringing them uh, you know, on-prem, closer, solves that big problem for them. Now, how do I take that workloads and bring them closer? Is that's where we landed in the VMware on Dell you know, EMC infrastructure, because this brings you closer to the data center, gives me either low latency, data governance and you know, control, as well as flexibility to bring these workloads back on-prem, right? Uh, so the two tangents that you're driving, both your cloud growth and back to the edge. The second tangent of growth or explosion is cloud native workloads. You're able to bring them closer to your data center. It's really the, the value proposition, right? Well, we heard so much about that on the main stage this morning about just how differently the, the, the modern workforce works in terms of the, the yep. number of devices yep. they use, the different locations they are when they are doing the tasks of their job. Can you talk a little bit about the specifics in terms of uh, customers you're working with, you don't need to name names, but just how you are enabling those people. We get, we get feedback from customers in all industries, right? So, you know, Muneeb can share a few as well. Sure. We have large banks that are, uh, you know, they're standardized their workloads on VMware today, right, as, as have many more organizations, and they're looking for the flexibility to be able to move stuff to the cloud or move it back on premises and not have to reformat, not have to change their machine formats and just make it a little bit easy. Um, they want the flexibility to, you know, be able to run uh, applications in their bank branches, right, in the cloud, right? But then they don't, they don't necessarily want to adopt a new machine format or a new standardized platform. That's really what uh, the Azure announcement helps them do, right? Just like with AWS, can now move workloads seamlessly to Azure, use vCenter, use your other, uh, you know, uh, tools that you're familiar with today already to be able to provision uh, your workloads. All right, so Varun, I wonder if we can drill into the, the, the stack a little bit here. Uh, you know, I went to the Microsoft show last year and it was like, oh, WSSD is very different than Azure Stack, even if you look at the box and it's very much the same. Underneath the covers, there was a lot of discussion of VxRail. We know how fast that's been growing. Can, can you, I, I believe there's two pieces of this. There's the VCF on VxRail, and then, you know, so just yeah. help, help explain. Uh, yeah, so for the Dell Technologies Cloud Platform announcement, which is, as you said, VxRail, infra HCI infrastructure with VMware Cloud Foundations tightly integrated, right? So that the, the storage, compute, and networking capabilities of, of, of a VMware Cloud Foundation are all uh, incorporated and, and taken advantage of within the HCI infrastructure. This is all about making things um, easier to consume, right? Reducing the complexity for customers. When they get VxRail, they overwhelmingly tell us they want to use VMware Cloud Foundations to be able to manage and automate those workloads. So we're, we're packaging this up out of the box so that when customers get it, they have that cloud experience on premises without the complexity of having to deploy it because it's already integrated tightly. The engineering teams have actually worked together. And then you can then, as we mentioned, extend those workloads to uh, public cloud using the same tools, the same VMware Cloud Foundation tools. And you know, uh, we built on Cloud Foundation for a while, and I'm sure you followed us on the Cloud Foundation. And that has been when, you know, yes, we talk about consistent infrastructure, consistent operations in this hybrid cloud world, and what we really mean is that VMware Cloud Foundation stack, right? So when we talk about VMC on AWS, is that Cloud Foundation stack running inside of Amazon. When we talk about you know, our partnership with Azure, is that VMware Cloud Foundation stack running on Azure. When we talk about this 4,000 partners, cloud certified, IBM, it is the Cloud Foundation stack. And the key components being the full stack, vSphere, vSAN, NSX, and there's a critical part in Cloud Foundation called lifecycle management. It's, you know, it's missed quite easily, right? The benefit of running a public cloud, the key three attributes you get is you, know, you get everything as a service, you, you get all your infrastructure as software, and the third part is you don't spend any time maintaining the interoperability between your compute network storage. And that is a huge deal for customers. They spend a lot of time just maintaining this interop, and you know, VMware Cloud Foundation has this lifecycle manager which solves that problem. That, that is key. Th thank you for bringing that up, because right, one of the big differences you talk about public cloud, go talk to your customer and say, hey, uh, what version of Microsoft Azure are you running? And they'll laugh at you and say like, well, Microsoft yeah. takes care of that yeah. for me. Well, 
when I differentiate and I say, oh, okay, well, I want to run the same stack in my environment, how do I keep that up to date? We know the VMware you know, customer, it's like, there's lots of incentives to get them there, but oftentimes they're N minus one, two, or uh, something like that. So how, how do we manage and make sure that it's more cloud-like and yeah. up to date? Yeah, absolutely. So, so there's two, two ways to do that. So one of them is, because the VMware and Dell EMC teams are in, working on engineering closely together, we're, we're going to have the latest version supported right, right out the gate. So you have an update, you know that it's going to work on your, your hardware or vice versa, so that's one level. And then with VMware Cloud on Dell EMC, we're also providing the ability to basically have hands-off management and have that infrastructure run in your data center or your edge locations, but at the same time, not have to manage it. You leave that management to Dell Technologies and to VMware to be able to manage that solution for you. So really, as, as Muneeb said, bringing that public cloud experience to your on-premise locations as well. And I think that's one of the big differentiators that's going to come, right? People want to get that consumption model, and they're trying to say, hey, how do I build my whole data center, maintain it, but at the same time, I want to rely on you know, Dell and VMware to come and help us build it together, right? And the second part of the announcement was really, hey, VMware Dell on uh, Dell EMC is that managed service offer. The demo you saw from June Yang was being able to have a consumption interface where you can kind of click off a button, roll it back into a data center, as well as an edge because you have literally very little IT skill sets where in, in the edge environment. And as edge compute needs become more prolific with yeah. 5G, IoT devices, you need that same kind of data governance model and data center model yep. there as well. And that really the beauty of you know, coming to VMware and Dell, you know, Dell DMC, Dell Technologies power is to maintain that everywhere, right? It comes down to listening to customers, right? As, as Dell Technologies, as VMware, we have the advantage of working with so many customers, like hundreds of thousands of customers around the world. We get to hear and listen and understand what are the cutting edge things that customers are looking for, and then we can now take that back to customers like Bank of America, who may have thought about certain scenarios, right, that we will learn from, but they may not have thought about other industries where things could be applicable to their industry, so that drives a lot of our innovation. We're, we are very proud about the fact that we're customer focused. Our innovation is really driven by listening to customers uh, and, and you know, having smart people just work on those, work on those problems. And you know, Customer wise is a big deal. Customer choice, that's why we're doing what we're doing with multiple cloud providers, right? And I think this is really a key to, if you just look at VMware's innovation, we're already talking about this multi-cloud world where it's like, hey, you've got workloads natively, so we, how do you manage those? We're already ahead in thinking about you know, Kubernetes with acquisition of Heptio. And if you think about it, you know, we've done this innovation in the cloud space, established this hybrid credibility, and we've launched it with Dell Technology now. We're already ahead in this multi-cloud operational model, we're already ahead in this Kubernetes evolution, we'll bring it back with the family and listen to the customers for choice, because at the end of the day, we're able to solve customer problems, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that's another dimension of choice that we offer, which is both traditional applications, as well as applications of the future that will increasingly be customer container based. Yeah, I, I just wonder if you can expand on a little bit. You know, one of the things I said, VMware was great. It really simplified in my environment. I go back 15 years ago. One of the things it did is, let me take my old application that was probably long in the tooth to begin with. My hardware's out of date, my operating system's out of date, stick it in a VM and leave it for another five years. And the users of that are like, oh my gosh, I need an update. Yeah. How do we get beyond that and allow this joint solution to be an accelerant for applications? Yeah, and I think, you know, the application is probably the crux of the business, right? It's Where the long pole in the tent for yeah, making right? Change, yeah, but, uh, and applications yeah. have evolved. This is actually the evolution journey of IT itself, is where they used to be like support systems, now they become actually translate to business dollars. Because you know, the, the first thing that your customer, off a customer touches, is an application. And you can drive business value from it. And customers are thinking about this old applications and new applications. And they have to start thinking about where do I take my applications, where do they need to land, and then make a choice of what infrastructure is the best platform for it. So really kind of flip the thing on, don't think infrastructure first and then retrospect apps to it. Think app first and then make a choice on infrastructure based on your application need. And, and really, look, like you said, VMware kind of took the abstraction layer away from infrastructure and made sure that your VMs could run everywhere. We're taking the same for applications say, doesn't matter if it's a VM based, it's a cloud native, we'll give you the same you know, in consistent infrastructure and operations. Okay, uh, Arun, last thing, could you just tell us of the announcements that are made, what's available today, what's coming later this year? Absolutely, so the Dell Technologies cloud platform that's based on VxRail and, and uh, VMware Cloud Foundation is available now as an integrated solution. 
the VMware Cloud on Dell EMC, the fully managed offer, is available uh, in the second half of this year. It's in beta right now, and as you saw, we have really good feedback from our customers. And then I think the, uh, uh, the, the Azure VMware Solutions offer will be uh, available soon as well. All right, well, Varun and Muneeb, congratulations on the progress. We look forward to talking to the customers as they roll this out. Yeah. And Rebecca and I will be back with lots more coverage here at Dell Technologies World 2019. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage, two sets, three days, 10th year of theCUBE at EMC and Dell World. I'm Stu Miniman, and thanks so much for watching theCUBE.